Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, oh my gosh. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Amber. Um, we all know why we're here today, so let's get straight into the video. Yo. <laughs> feels like it's been so long and I'm happy to be back I'm happy to show y'all my locks and where we've come in three weeks time today marks three weeks since I got my hair lock so that is why we are here along with five questions that you should ask your loctician before you hear me before getting your starter locks done okay not after not during the appointment before because you need to know exactly what you're getting yourself into so let's get straight into it oh <laughs> milo isn't with us today um he's actually outside enjoying himself relieving himself if you will he will not be joining us but he sends all his love and all his attitude and if you guys don't know who milo is because you're new to my channel Go watch my last two videos, my starter locks video, and also my two week update to meet my love and learn a little bit more about my hair. So yes, guys, number one, ask the person that you're considering to do your starter locks, ask them if they do consultations. Um, I think that consultations are really important, especially when getting something done that is as potentially permanent as locks are. Um, you need to make sure that they know how to work with your hair. You need to make sure that they know, oh, if there's a shorter spot here, they know how to work with that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to show up the day of your appointment and have them looking at your hair like boo boo the fool. Like if you don't know how to do all types of hair, then that's something that needs to be known. So I would definitely suggest having a consultation if you're going to somebody that you've never been to before. My lactician, I had already been to her a few times. She already knows how my hair is and things like that. So I really didn't need that. But if I were going to somebody new, which I kind of considered, I was going to have a consultation before letting them, you know, get into my hair and put something in my hair that could be potentially permanent because I do want this to be permanent. You feel me? So number two, Ask them what technique do they use or techniques use when starting starter locks. There are so many different ways that you can start starter locks. They can put two strand twists in your hair. They can put plaits in your hair. They can put comb coils in your hair. They can put instant locks in your hair with crochets. They can do a bunch of different things and you really need to know how you're gonna look when you get out that chair. You don't want it to be a mystery. So this is something that you should know before you book your appointment. And even if you see their pictures, you really never know what somebody's gonna do when you pull up. Number three, for me, Number three is the most important. I made sure to ask my loctician this like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times, just so I knew exactly what was going on. Number three is what products are you gonna be using in my hair? Very important, especially when you have locks. Locks can build up on your scalp. Locks can, you know, be damaged at the ends. Locks can get thin in the middle. For me personally, I only want natural products in my hair and I want as little products as possible. And when I say products, I don't only mean what they're twisting your hair with or locking your hair with. I also mean what shampoos are they using? Um, are they conditioning your hair? What's going into those two as well? Because that will affect your hair and that will affect your locks these babies these are your babies and you just want to protect them and you want to love them and give them the tools that they need to grow number four yes number four is ask them um maintenance cost so they're gonna probably already tell you how much it costs for starter locks but how about you also check how much it costs for your retwist how does it how much does it cost if i want a style this time how much are all these different things and also ask them how often would they want to see you because this is all gonna 
have an effect on my wallet you feel me i'm young i'm a college student working like my money is very important to me and i need to know that i'm going to be able to maintain my hair um on the budget that i have so if that's something that you're also concerned about make sure you ask your loctician um if you're going to a loctician at first and then you see yourself get into do your own hair which is like me maybe this isn't something um to worry about as much so the fifth and final question is how experienced are you with starter locks many locticians maybe only do retwist or they're more comfortable with retwist that's mostly their clientele um, and maybe not as much starter locks so you do really want somebody who's experienced with your starter lock i mean with starter locks so you're not like an experiment you're not a lab rat okay your hair is not a playground so make sure you got somebody who know what they're doing or if you're like let's say your sister or something is gonna start your locks i mean cool as long as you know what you're getting yourself into beforehand that's my thing like um something that i did forget to mention is also well this goes along with how do they start but how what parting systems do they use because if you want um like i have i guess box parts and if you want like a block a box part or like a grid that looks like mine or something you want to make sure that that's something that they do like there's a lot of people who only do like seek parts and things like that so you just really want to do your research and also it's my three week lock anniversary <laughs> three weeks <laughs> it's been very interesting i have had bad days like a lot of days my hair has looked absolutely crazy um even just like two days ago because i'm i'm in school this is my school go to usc in la but i'm at home for um virtual school so i've been on zoom and two days ago i looked absolutely ridiculous like i watched a recording of my class and i looked bogus like but bogus hair bogus face bogus lighting bogus everything's bogus so that kind of hurt my confidence just a little bit but i realized that every day can't be a good day okay my hair is changing it's doing whatever it wants to do and some days it just doesn't want to lay how i want it to lay it doesn't want to do what i want it to do which is fine you know but anyway so here's the front obviously here's the first side the back of my hair and the other side so that's what my hair is in three weeks i've been doing the same things that i mentioned in my two week update video so if you want to know how i've been maintaining my hair make sure you check that video out and that's pretty much all i have from you guys today youtube exit three two one